happening right now, one of my favorite things about Good Friday, mm -hmm. the praying of the steps there in Mount Adams, all leading up to Holy Cross Immaculata Church. Jordan Vlines is live along the route where the pilgrims are actually observing a tradition 150 years strong. Good morning, Jordan. Hey, Lauren, yeah, I mean, this is a tradition that has continued to grow and to evolve in 1911. That's actually when the concrete steps were erected here. But it's actually a tradition that stretches back to the 1850s, believe it or not. All morning long, I've been talking to folks not only from here, but have, who have also traveled to here. But joining me now are actually sisters. I'll bring Peggy and Nancy in here. Uh, sisters who you guys said that this is something that your all's dad took you to do when you were yay high. So tell tell me about that and then how this tradition has evolved for you guys. Go ahead. Mary. Yeah, whichever sister. <laughs> uh, I We started as soon as we were old enough to pray. Mom and dad would bring us and it would be about 3 30, 4 o'clock in the morning. All six of us kids. Our grandparents actually did it too. Wow. Which is where I assume our parents got it from. Sure. And um, and here you are here today. We are. Oh, this I mean, is the first time she and I have done it together since we were mar yeah. Uh, yeah. married. Yeah. yeah. And what do you find special about today? I mean, the fact that you're able to be here with your sister. But what do you find special about the whole experience? It's just peaceful, quiet, a lot of memories. You think yeah. about people who used to do it with us and no longer here. But um, it's it just goes back to your childhood, and we love coming. Yeah. I love coming every yeah. year. It's, it always amazes me how many people are content. I mean, just throngs of people all lined up at all hours of the day. I love coming. It just, I love seeing all of these people doing this. Yeah. Anytime you congregate like this, and it gives me a very, um, a very hopeful and good feeling. I, it's, it's really true. It's kind of in the air here this morning. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, very much so. And it's so. not raining or snowing, yeah. which, which we used to have to do. Exactly. That's a, that's a double plus there. But we so. also can't get in the back door of the bakery anymore. They oh. don't let you do that anymore. Well, yes. <laughs> As things progress, indeed. Well, uh, thank you guys again for talking with me this morning. And right now you're taking a look at some of the details. If you are interested in coming out here today in the praying of the steps, you can enter uh, from a number of areas. There are three different spots, actually, where you can um, begin your prayer, uh, if you will. So th I know the middle part of it, that's going to be there on Columbia Parkway. Also, uh, the lowest point is going to be there on Riverside Drive, right across from uh, Montgomery and across from the boathouse. But it really is, I know that, it, it, again, it's such a tradition. Sometimes it's a new tradition for a lot of the folks that we've been uh, speaking with this morning. I know the brother and sister that I spoke with at 5 a.m., it was a new tradition for them. They drove in from Raleigh, North Carolina. And then, you know, just to talk with those sisters here, who really said that they've been doing this since they can remember. So certainly uh, of such a beautiful tradition here in the Queen City. Again, this morning, the praying of the steps at the Immaculata right here in Mount Adams. For now, reporting live here in Mount Adams, Jordan Valines, Fox 19 Now.